I'm Elsa Ames, and this is Morning Dive. I am Elsa, I'm from New Jersey, and I'm doing an aerial hoop underwater performance today. The morning dive shoot struck me as so unique. I have never done a combination of fashion photography and underwater modeling, though I do have some experience with free diving and I do part-time modeling, so I'm excited to try it out. So I'm a full-time actor, I'm SAG eligible, and I do modeling, filmmaking, and also special action fighting. I do not have aerial hoop experience, but I am a yogi and a contortionist, so I think those will lend themselves well to this. I do have some experience shooting underwater. I've done some free diving and scuba diving photography, um, but never in a pool. So excited to try it out. My strong points to shoot underwater, one is the free diving experience. I can hold my breath for a good amount of time. Two is my contortion experience. I'm excited to make some interesting shapes and get some really dynamic angles. And then three would just be generally modeling experience and coming in with an open attitude. <laughs> I think shooting with an aerial hoop underwater is gonna be challenging for one specific reason is that the gravity doesn't pull you down. There's some buoyancy to it. So all of the references that I've looked at are gonna be needed to, uh, to modify a little bit. I prepared for today's shoot by going through my stretches, checking out some reference photography for aerial hoops, and then practicing my breathing techniques. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. My advice to anyone who wants to shoot aerial hoop underwater, go for it. It's a lot of fun, it's difficult, it's challenging, but you can't uh, learn unless you try. The biggest challenge today was keeping in mind all of my angles and my extension of you know, hands and feet while the pressure of like holding your breath builds up. It was definitely a unique modeling challenge. I found this shoot technically challenging in a couple of ways. There was one portion where my dress was coming up, so I had to hold down the dress, do the pose, hold my breath, and then, you know, start the whole process over. That was the most challenging. Skills for this shoot, I would say, are confidence, willing to learn, willingness to take direction, and then, you know, having fun. Mary Batetta is an amazing director. The Morning Dive really has a whole system here. The cast and crew have both been awesome. I'm most proud of today, my willingness to show up and do what was ever asked of me and uh, doing it in, you know, difficult conditions, but still having fun. If I were to shoot with an aerial hoop again, there's definitely more poses I wanna try, uh, more challenging angles, more challenging flexibility moves. Uh, it's definitely something that the more experience you have, I think the better the photographs come out. I'll teach you guys something you don't know or maybe don't know in 30 seconds. So when quantum particles are entangled, it means that their states are forever entwined. So no matter how far you separate them, the spin of one will correspond with the spin to the other. Thank you guys so much for watching The Morning Dive. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe.